I love wrestling. Well, I used to love wrestling. Way back in elementary school, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, their rivalry to me was the beginning of a new era. At the same time Stone Cold was happening, The Rock came along, and then one of my favorites, Chris Jericho. In middle school, we have matches during lunch, before and after school, had championship matches for belts made out of Moncala boards. It was all consuming. But as time moved forward, I drifted away until... Welcome to Raw is... Senior. I decided to chase some clout and sit front row at Monday Night Raw. Now let me explain. I still hold a high esteem and appreciation for wrestling. Some of the most trusted perspectives around me are always telling me I should get back into it, that it's gotten good again, that the storylines are compelling, and well, it's just fun to watch. I got the idea to leverage some of WWE's brand recognition in association with Cineo and aspirations to make content that I could disperse on the socials for false claims of validation so people can be like, what the hell and who is that? With the hope that 10% of those people stick around and listen to my music. Speaking with the artists I know, we would share the difficulty in creating something for the gram to be in tandem with our music. How the already crippling fears of being an artist with all of its various anxieties can paralyze you into consistent hesitation, procrastination, resentment, and despair. So I got the idea to be like, let's use the money that isn't real to have a real once in a lifetime experience and just see what happens. And well, surprisingly, it kind of worked in terms of getting a random TV time because sitting behind George Kittle wasn't planned and by chance at best, as well as largely due to be true saying we should sit behind the commentators. I was like, great, I could just get every possible angle of me at Monday Night Raw, chop it up into a video, and just constantly recycle it to make me feel like I got content. It's bigger than me, which makes me look bigger than life, so those who don't listen or read can just watch and pretend to be like, boom, 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 boom. I've had bouts of inconsistent consistency or stepping away to be present in my partner and child's life, working on having a healthy marriage while raising a child and pursue creativity as a career and leaving behind the nonprofit sector after realizing they don't want anyone who is from where I'm from to serve where they are from at the highest level. Or it's just a band-aid dispenser for gunshots. No judgment, just 20 plus years of observations of being a participant to then a community servant and then being like, to hell with all that. I don't need them to serve my people. Now, some thrive off of unbroken production and distribution of content, and that is amazing and something that I aspire to do. But for others, I can only unrealistically and practically and in the most unorthodox way say that maybe I could find another way. Now, really, I don't know, but in time, we can see. So, yeah, peace. <laughs>